What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're we'll be drawing the contract Giller from the Fortnite the Assassin pack. Let's get started at the top of our page with the glasses. So in the center, we start with a straight line going across from left to right. And then from the ends, we're gonna angle up and out towards the top of the glasses. And from the top, we're gonna draw a straight line going out towards the left and right side. Let's round out the top corner of the glasses. Starting on the left, just gonna pull this back around and in. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's go back to the center and draw the bottom edge of the frame. Starting on the left, draw another straight line going out. And from the ends, we're gonna angle down and out towards the bottom of the frame. Let's round out the inside corner and pull that straight out with a short line. Let's go back up to the top, draw a straight angle line coming down. I'm just gonna round out the outside corner. Come down first, and then round this out and pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Coming down with an angle line, and then we'll round out the bottom. And now we're gonna trace out the inside of the frame. From this point, we're gonna step in, start with that line going across, and we wanna leave an even space gap all the way around. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna work our way around the bottom. Now we're gonna move down and draw the center seam of the mouth. Starting over on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve going up and then back down on the right side. And now we're gonna draw on the outer lip. Starting on the left side, start by curving up, and pull that down on the right. Let's round out the corners of the mouth. Just gonna round this out and pull that back in. And we'll connect the bottoms with a slight curve, going up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Now let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. Starting from the outside corner of the glasses, on the left side, we're gonna curve out, Round up the cheek and pull that in just underneath the mouth. I'm going to work our way back up towards the right. Go out, round up the cheek, pull that up and in. And we're going to move up and draw on the top of the head. On the left side, curve up in the middle, round up the head, and pull that down on the right. Let's step down and draw on the body. We're gonna start with the inside edge of the jacket, starting on the left side, just underneath the head. Draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And from the bottom of the jacket, we're gonna step up and draw a curve coming down and then up. Step up and draw another curve for the top of the belt. And I'm leave a gap in the center and draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right for the belt buckle. Let's go back up to the top and draw the collar and tie. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, angle down and out, go to the right side, and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna step in and draw two short angle lines coming in toward the middle, and it will close off the bottom of the knot with a straight line. Let's draw on the tie. On the left side of the knot, angle down and out toward the left, and right. Now we're just gonna pull this down and in towards the center point. Let's move out and draw on the jacket collar. From the top of this line, we're gonna step out, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the sides. And we'll pull that down and in. Let's draw on the bottom of the collar. Halfway along this line, we're gonna angle back out and down. And then we'll draw an angle line coming down almost to the bottom of the jacket. Let's round out the bottom of the jacket. Starting on the left, we're gonna go out and then bend this up. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here, we're gonna go straight up, 
I'm just gonna bend that in. Do the same thing on the right. Go straight up, and then we'll bend that in. Let's continue working down with the legs. From the buckle, we're gonna step down, draw a curve. From left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll curve the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we'll come down, and we'll bend that up towards the toe on both sides. Now going back to the left, we're gonna round out the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, it's almost like drawing a half circle, aiming towards the heel, stop right about there. And I'm just gonna bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the toe, going up, and then down towards the heel, and we'll bend that back up. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. We're also gonna add a toe cap to the front of the foot. Starting on the left, curve in and then down towards the sole on both sides. Now I move back up to the hips and draw on the side of the leg. From the bottom corner of the jacket, I'm gonna step in, start by curving out, come down, and then pull that in on top of the foot. And do the same thing on the right. Point out, down, and then in. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the arm on the left holding the pistol. From the top of the body, we're gonna step up underneath the head. Start by curving out, and then down toward the inside of the elbow. Now we're gonna do an overlap. Stepping in, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're gonna curl around the thumb. Starting up here, we're gonna go up, come down towards the tip of the thumb, let's round up the thumb, and then go back up. And then from here, we're gonna add the palm, just drawing a hook, coming in and then down. Let's add the index finger on top of the thumb. Starting out here, we're gonna draw an oval, going out towards the top, down, and then in. And we'll stack two more fingers in behind. Let's start at the bottom of this finger, go up, down and we'll pull that up underneath the thumb. Let's do that one more time. Now we're gonna layer the gun in behind the hand. Start from the top of this finger, draw a straight angle line going out. Flatten off the end. I'm just gonna pull this back down and then in on top of the thumb. Then from here we draw a curve, coming down and out and then pull that straight down on top of the thumb. Now going back to the outside corner, we're gonna step up and draw a straight line coming back in behind the thumb. Let's add the tip of the pistol. From the top corners, we're gonna step in, we're gonna extend two straight lines going out, and then we'll close off the end. And we'll add the trigger around the index finger. Stepping up, just going around the finger, and then in behind. Now from that top point, we're gonna come in, and then bend that up, come down, and then back out towards the bottom corner. And then we'll draw on the handle. Starting from the bottom of this finger, draw a straight angle line coming down, flatten off the bottom. I'm just gonna pull this up underneath the thumb. Let's go back up to the wrist. We're gonna curve the palm coming down, and then up underneath the handle. And then from here, we're gonna step back in, come down towards the elbow, and we'll round this out, pull that up underneath the body. We also wanna add the cuff of the jacket. So we're gonna step in, just trace that same curve going back around. Now we're gonna move over and draw the right arm hanging down the side. So start halfway down the side of the body, start by curving out and down towards the wrist, and draw a small half circle with the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Now let's add three fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down, round out the finger, and then go up around the bracket. Step down, curve out, and up the second finger. Let's add one more finger. Curve out, up. I'm just gonna bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Now from the top of the thumb, we we'll go across and then bend this up towards the outside. Step up and draw that same curve, the cuff of the jacket. 
And that's pretty much it. There's the contract dealer from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.